are growing concerns of human trafficking as we near the College World Series. As Johan Marin is on your side with how you can protect your family as we head into this busy baseball season. As thousands of people are expected downtown for the College World Series, human trafficking groups are asking you to be on high alert. This is an everyday thing. Uh, I'm, great. I'm so happy we're having this conversation, and it does happen in the College World Series. There's no uh, denying that. It happens in all major events. Groups of community members were invited to a public awareness event to let them know human trafficking is an issue here in the metro. Local authorities and human trafficking watch groups like the Set Me Free Project set up signs, brought out shirts and stickers for the community to be informed. We are a hot spot in Omaha and trafficking is happening, both sex and labor. The concern for human trafficking in Omaha comes from a Homeland Security investigation from December 2020 to December of last year. Some of their findings show in the metro, 220 juveniles were at risk every year, and there were 44 confirmed juvenile victims over that period. Olson says while the data shows youth are most at risk for human trafficking, anyone can be a victim. This is not those people. And I think we hear that a lot. It's those poor people over there. There is no those people. These are our youth, our young adults, all ages in our homes. During the presentation, Olson showed ways you can protect yourself and help others. She says if you notice someone involved in a human trafficking situation, to not intervene, but to be aware of who to contact and the resources needed to address the issue. We wanted to be really proactive about what it looks like, what it doesn't look like, and how to really get the community to understand what's going on with that. On your side, I'm Johan Marin, 6 News. Now, law enforcement say these are some signs that someone may be a, vic be a victim of human trafficking. They may have physical injuries, appear malnourished, seem to have scripted social interactions, or are not allowed to hang on to their own ID or travel documents. If you notice any of these signs, you can contact the Nebraska Human Trafficking Hotline. You can find that number and more resources on our website, wowt.com.